Hi Doris. Hi. I found you at Hong Kong Veg Fest and you was promoting veganism and you had a stall. So what's your stall about? Well, a stall is representing uh, two organizations. The first one is fooduncovered.org and the second one is the Hong Kong Vegetarian Society. And um, I'm more in engaged in the fooduncovered.org. It's basically like a Facebook platform and also a WordPress website. So we um, try to um, spread the message about the hidden facts behind the food production mm. and all the issues that is involved. For example, um, for example, child labor in seafood um, production in Thailand, wow. or like animal welfare issues of like of the um, animal um, production and also um, health issues and food labeling, that kind of things. Because we want to let the customers know that they have a right to know what is, what is on about their food. Mm. And then after knowing that, um, they can make an informed choice. You mentioned about the child labor in seafood in, yes. in is it Thailand? Yeah, it's in Thailand. Yes. Uh, it's a, is a very large seafood uh, provider. It's called CP, mm. and because in like in Hong Kong, uh, we people consume a lot of apart from meat, they consume a lot of seafood as well. And uh, actually, no one really care much about this kind of issues that is involved in, in food production, mm. let alone like um, factory farming. So do you think like veganism involves like the animals and human rights? I think to me veganism is not only about your own diet and what is on your plate. It's, to me veganism is more like, holistic. Like for example, if I have decided okay I'm going to become a vegan, it's not like I'm going to take away all the meat from my plate. Mm. It's about I care about um, animals and what is happening to animals and also is it cannot be something that is like taken out of the context of the modern world and your society. For example, if I am I say that oh, I I'm going to vegan become a vegan and I start to care about animals in my own society and not only the animals that I eat, for example animals that we keep mm. and um, the wild animals as well and also um, because veganism is necessarily connected to food itself and I also care more about um, organic foods like for example is there a lot of chemical involved is a GM that kind of thing I don't think this is a very it's, it, it might sound very strict like mm. wow it's, it's a little religion it's very strict <laughs> but no I think it's like more like you're getting more and more informed of what your choice is in is making influence to the others and you, you want to minimize the harm and you mm. want to basically just like make it a better place yeah. and um, so to me veganism is just a step that you try to take and then you just try to care more about everything. What do you think is the best way to get people to care more about the world and animals and humans like all in one? Mm. Well I guess um, some people um, they might not think about going vegan is that because vegan sounds like a dogma or something mm -hmm. and it's kind of difficult to just go become vegan in one day. So my suggestion is that um, if you know if you learn about veganism, just try to see like what is good about it and don't force yourself to be become a vegan. It's not necessary. Because I know that many people they are vegans and at the beginning they have no idea about what is vegan. Mm. Uh, they become vegan for example for any for um, because of animals. They just want to like um, like cause less harm to animals or any other reasons like health reasons or environmental reasons. And I just think that the thing is you just have to believe that like everything that you do is making a difference. And no matter how small it is, like for example you just eat um, for example um, in the beginning maybe going vegan like once in a week or mm. then like two twice in a week or then half in half time in a week something like that and then you know that you can actually do that just don't force yourself too hard because to me it's more like a sustainable thing um, so just take a time and, and um, believe that you can make a difference yeah yes. what's it like being vegan in Hong Kong I think um, 
is getting easier now, uh, but still it's not as easy as in Europe because I studied in Europe before and I have traveled to UK and some other countries. And when I was there, and at that time I was not yet a vegan, but I have friends that are vegan and I see that no one will question like less people will question about the yeah. options like why are you vegan because in Hong Kong <laughs> most of the time when I tell new people that I am vegan I don't usually say I, I'm vegan usually it's like uh, we go to a restaurant and dine together and yeah. then I would um, they would try to order something I would say oh sorry I'm, I'm vegan uh, maybe I would order something else and they would start asking like why are you vegan mm. like religious reason and um, well most of the people are very patient and they really want to know why I'm vegan but um, I think in this aspect, it's getting better. Like they respect you and then they yeah. try to understand more. And with my friends as well, they understand more and more now why I'm being. And family, I think family can be something that is kind of tough for most people from what I've heard. Um, I have some family members when they know that I am not, I, I didn't tell them that I am a vegan because they have no idea what is vegan. Mm. I just tell them, okay, I am not eating meat now. And they would start asking, how about fish? Fish is good for you. Fish is not meat. Mm. Like, eh, maybe I'm not eating that. I'm just a bit like passive. And um, they really have this um, thinking that um, if you don't eat meat mm. or fish, then you don't have enough, enough nutrients. And for example, you can't have babies, that kind of thing. Yeah. Like very traditional oh. thinking. And then I have to convince them. And then now they, after some years, and they, they are used to it already. And they would um, try to cater my needs. Right? Whenever we have like a family gathering for 12 people, they would mm. order like half of the dishes are vegan. Oh, nice. Yeah, and they would, oh, okay, because we don't meet that often, maybe just like a few times a year. Yeah. And they think it's a good, also a good, like good occasion to just have a healthy meal and uh, mm. like that. And um, maybe dining out is not easy. It's not easy enough yet. That's why we have created these um, little cards um, to thank the restaurant, to thank the non-vegan restaurant for, for providing vegan options. Mm. Because I think um, more, less, more restaurants, they would try to cater the different needs of people. Um, at the beginning, like a few years ago, when I um, start to quit meat, when I dine out, it's not easy. Like for example, if I go to a very local uh, restaurant, Cha Chan Ten, and I tell the staff that I, is there anything that you can offer uh, without meat? And mm. they would question, like, what? Like, how do we <laughs> offer things without meat? Because everyone basically, they. They think it only worth the money if you provide meat mm. because Hong Kong is a very like, a serious meat eating society. And um, but now I guess more there are more and more people going vegetarian and vegan, so they are used to this kind of requests. Like in some restaurant that I used to go to at the beginning, they will be quite kind of curious, like why are you? They actually they ask me why, and I'm happy they ask me why yeah. I'm going vegan. And there was this lady I usually order take away from, and um, she would ask me like, uh, "Why are you vegan?" And you know, so, can you please t explain me more? Like, what do you not eat? Mm. And is it because of religious reason or animal and that kind of thing? And when I told when I told her that it's because of animals, and she would be like, "I really admire you. You have uh, yeah. what it takes to be homo vegan and to persist it." And yeah, and then she would try to not only take away the meat from the dish, like fried, like, because I usually eat this kind of fried rice mm. style, and if I order it, they would put different kind of ingredients and put it in a big pan and fry it, and I tell her I don't want the meat, I don't want to see, but I want to eat. So it's basically just green beans and rice. And so she would start putting different things, like mushroom and oh, different nice. things. She <laughs> understand now why I'm vegan. So, also from this experience, I think it's more like uh, a mutual understanding. Mm. Because if you if you just think that okay, I'm vegan, I don't want to cause trouble to others, and I only go to vegan restaurants, and you never go to non-vegan restaurants, yeah. they never understand. Yeah. And you, if you never ask, they never know. Yeah. So you can just be more patient and explain more, and then ask them, and then they will be happy to provide as well. Have you been able to encourage any of your friends and family to go vegan? 
Well, I I tried it with like different people. For example, uh, with my family, I don't because they they kind of opposed to this idea at the beginning, and I just tell them. Usually, they're concerned about health health reasons, like uh, do you have enough nutrients, that kind of thing. And I I never harshly promote it mm. because they understand very well why I'm going vegan, and I just bring them to vegan restaurants and like. I, whenever I eat out in a nice restaurant, I take a picture and show them what I'm eating. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll be like, it actually looks better than what I'm eating every day. I was like, yes. <laughs> and then they are more convinced of it. And when and sometimes whenever, like even if, because I don't live with them, even if I'm, I'm not there, they will try to eat like vegetarian meals as well. Mm. And so it's like more like a soft approach and it's kind of inbuilt in the mind, I'm not sure. I hope it will continue. And my mom now, whenever she saw me, she would tell me, you know what, I actually I can call myself a vegetarian because I oh, wow. don't eat that, that much. I was like, yes, good start, just keep going. <laughs> and for my boyfriend, because he is a bodybuilder, mm. and he, at the beginning he was just not, he just haven't heard about this idea of not eating meat and because I told him actually there are also some bodybuilders they can like have enough um, proteins from like plant-based diet as well and then he is he's more convinced now because I never push him yeah I never like try to make him watch those videos because he knows very well and I think sometimes there are also some of my friends they know very well what is happening to animals and I just try to like infiltrate, but instead of just like watch it now or we will not be friends anymore. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not strong enough. I admire people who do. And for my boyfriend, I last year when I have my birthday, I just told him that I don't want a birthday present. But maybe you can try to go vegan for a week. Yeah. And oh. he did. I provide him all the um, recipes mm. of what he can eat because he have to bring lunch to to work. So he have to make like easy lunch. So I just tell him what he can make um, out of maybe five or six ingredients. And he did, he tried for one week. And then afterwards he told me, well, um, maybe at the beginning it just takes more time to make this, but I can see myself not eating meat Yay. because um, it's actually good. Like mm. it tastes good and it's healthier and it's easy to prepare. So it's fine. Like he accepted this idea at least. Although he now eats, still eats meat, yeah. but I believe that like for longer he will just he can yeah, just quit. Yeah. Maybe one day. Yeah, maybe one day. <laughs> and then more of my friends they become like vegetarian, or some of them just still eat seafood, but then they don't eat meat anymore. Mm. Um, yeah, but I don't. I didn't like directly convince them to like please don't eat. I just sometimes I give them cards or I send send them messages on Facebook or share the posts about animal things and some of them they tell me yeah because you know what you always share this kind of thing and I always read it and like slowly slowly I think I don't need them anymore mm. I don't need to so it's fine Do you think people should like share more posts about veganism and like animal rights? Yeah, mm. yeah. I, I think maybe in a proper amount because to me everything has to be you know, like good Proportion, then it works. Yeah. yeah. So not too much. <laughs> not too much, not too less. And yeah. Right What's the animal rights scene like in Hong Kong? Mm. In Hong Kong, there has been like very established um, animal rights or animal welfare organizations, but um, it's there's basically no organizations that covers the topic of farm animals. Mm. Uh, I think there are several reasons for that. Uh, um, well, and usually there are more concerns of the public for animals um, that are in a community, like for example, um, companion animals like mm. cats, uh, cats, dogs, uh, birds, turtles, or uh, some uh, more wild animals in a community, like um, boars, like wild pigs, and monkeys. Yeah. Yes, because they're, these are the animals that they can see in the environment and yeah and uh, but in I think it start from like last year or something like we and the other people 
We have this concern, kind of a concern group about um, for farm animals, and we have been to the slaughterhouse. Wow. Yep, and um, to see what it's actually like, like from the outside, mm. because you can see the like pig car, pe like pig trucks coming mm. in, and you can see the pigs being load, unload from the truck t into the slaughterhouse, and you can hear that. Yeah. You hear the pigs being killed. And uh, we have been there and tried to see like is there anything that we can do by like, um, maybe to promote more veganism or to let the people know how it actually looks like the faces of the animals that mm. you eat. Yes, because I think um, that they need to see the connection between the food and the life of like, animals itself. Yeah. Because usually and nowadays when we buy meat, it's not like in the old times, right? It's not like you go to the market and you see a, you see a, well, you still see that because in Hong Kong you still go to the, if you go to the street market, you can see the chickens there. Yeah. And you say, oh, I want this chicken, this is feta. And then, and then they will go to go behind and then just cut the throat and then, yeah. Wow. It. <laughs> yeah. But it's more like in the old times, they don't mm. have, a, they don't do it very often now. Usually people just go to the supermarket mm. and they buy the piece of meat, clean and pink, and they just like grab it home and cook it. Because I think if people ha still have to go to the market, I think less people would eat. Yeah. yeah. Because they have to go through the whole process of that. Yeah, and um, the, uh, talking about the animal rights scene, I think there will be more, like more like um, animal activists for farm animals. Mm. And um, it's also about how to get the current animal activists expanding their care from just this group of animals to also other kind of animals and, just, and to tell them that this is possible because sometimes uh, I think people might not think about this because they think it's kind of impossible and uh, yeah I think we will expect more cooperation between different kind of animal rights groups Why did you go vegan? Well, I as a as a as a kid, I really like pigs. It's a really silly story, but it is actually the reason why. Because when I was small, my uncle gave me and my brother a pig toy. It's a very ugly piggy, and then we, but because of that, we love piggies like mm. from very from very young, just with pigs. And um, when I was older, I think like in high school, eight, 16, 17 years old, I was, um, I was a president of a society and we have to do an exhibition on like current issues in Hong Kong. And then, uh, at that time I was researching on um, the government, they trying to provide a voluntary scheme for the pig farms to give up their farm and then they can get a bunch of like a bunch of retirement money, something like that. So what they do with the pigs are they put them in, they send them to a slaughterhouse, house, but not a proper slaughterhouse. house. It's an open area mm. with just some fence, and you can see them. And they, there's like, like a gunman <gasps> just having a long rifle and just shooting pigs one by one. And it's it's open. Yeah. And you can see that. And I saw that. I have very very strong emotional, you know, uh, emotions for that. And I use that as a theme for the exhibition, talk about like the government's policy and what is happening to the pigs and uh, about what we can actually do. And I leave a, like a blank place for people to write. And then one of my chemistry teacher, he wrote that, yes, this is very cruel to them. Maybe you can end this by not eating them. And at that time I have a click, I was like, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe I could do that. Maybe I can just not eat them. Yeah. And um, he was the kind of teacher who would like put like um, pig cartoons in the in the tech, tech, text paper, exam paper. It's really loving teacher. Mm. Um, he and he has been a vegetarian for a very long time. And and then I get into university. And for one year, I stopped eating pork, just especially pork, because I think this is this should be the animal that I start with. Mm. If I love animals, because I always say that I love animals, I like seeing animals around, blah blah. But I like eating meat. 
I liked eating meat. Yeah. And um, so I started with pigs. I stopped eating pork and for one and a half years, something like that. And I went to Germany. And I was lost wrong enough because I, I, I always hang out with my friends for drinks, something. Mm. And then afterwards, I'd be really hungry. And then I was like, because you know, they, they have a lot of food stores selling sausages, like wurst. Yeah. And I would <laughs> just grab wurst and I, would, and I told myself, it's fine, just, just eat that. Like, don't think about that. Don't think about the animals mm. first, just eat that. And then um, and I, I start picking up like sausage as pork again and it's fine. It was fine. And um, then I went back to Hong Kong. And I always have this dilemma in my mind because I know I shouldn't eat. I know I shouldn't, but it's so tasty. Yeah. And it's so hard. Everything is like, maybe just don't think about it later, later, and I always tell myself to be easy on myself, just think about it later, later, later. And I think it's like maybe one year after my graduation, and it, I was talking to a friend, and I told her about this, I told her about, I always want to be a vegetarian, but I don't know when, because I, I have a feeling that I never had enough of you know, meat, I really like meat. And she was like, we just start now this moment because if you don't start now you never start I was like okay like yeah okay just like this I was like okay okay yeah I just go vegetarian now because I couldn't think about a better moment mm. it's like if I don't know if you have heard that if you need a sign now this is the sign it's yeah. exactly <laughs> like that I was like okay I just go vegetarian and but at the beginning I, at the beginning I still eat seafood because it's hard for me to just keep quit everything mm. at the same time. So I remain that for one year. I just eat seafood sometimes and I still eat egg and milk. And then one year later I meet I was in um I was in a meeting with other animal rights volunteers because I want to involve more. And um, I saw this post on Facebook that they're hire not hiring but they are they're asking for more volunteers and then I went to that meeting and I was, I still eat fish at that time and I was really hungry before the meeting and I was thinking about to buy some takeaway to bring to the meeting and what I could find in the area is just fish ball noodles mm. and I was thinking like, I think they should be vegan, is it very like rude to do that but I, I shouldn't lie about it as well because I still eat fish and I just did. I just bought the fish noodle to the venue and then everyone started introducing themselves and a lot of people are vegan. I feel awkward at that moment and I told them that actually I'm eating fishball noodle because yeah. I think this is what this is what I am now but mm. I would try to see if I should become a vegan in the future and then I know because what I concern more is health. Like if I could really make it like become a healthy vegan and none of my friends at the time are vegan, no. Mm. So I have no information whatsoever to just move that step forward. But then I, after I meet this group of people, they never push me. They never just like ask me to be vegan, vegan. They just say, I think they also think that everyone should have their own pass or, um, or, or, or rhythm of like getting more like um, towards vegan. Yeah. And, and I meet this friend again who at the first place like motivate me to become a vegetarian. I was tell I was talking to her again. <laughs> I was like, ah, you know what? I have no idea when should I become a vegan and she was like, now. <laughs> like, Come on you like you tell me about like the benefits of like vegetarianism but you have never become one and she was like, Yeah, but whatever, like just become vegan now. I was like Okay, I just actually need a sign, right? Mm. So I just become vegan, and that's it. That's, that's why I become vegan. I mean, this is like more like the storytelling, but actually, it's just it's really about animals. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Maybe everyone just needs that friend that says now. Yeah, just do it now. Like, yeah. Never. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. really cool. Yeah. If you had like one main tip for people that want to go vegan. 
Like, what would it be? Just think about the happy face of an animal that you live mm. and think about um, what would happen to them if you don't eat them. Well, maybe they're not born, but I mean, yeah, the happy face. And then you have more motivation to eat, to be vegan. That's great. Thank yeah. you, Doris. Thank you. <laughs>